Scott Russell was in intense pain, starving and unable to eat for months. He believed he was experiencing an artery blockage, similar to one he'd had in 2022. A stent solved the issue, but Russell continued making trips to the Labrador Health Center's emergency room. That's because he kept losing weight, about 80 pounds in a year, down to a lean 112 pounds. He's not eating. He can't eat because he knows he's going to be in pain. And almost drinking, almost having a cup of tea or he just drinking some broth. He was drinking Boost and Ensure and all this stuff, but uh, none of it was working. Russell got a referral to see his cardiovascular surgeon in St. John's in August. In fact, four Labrador doctors reached out on his behalf, so the couple waited. Weeks went by with no word. In the meantime, they kept going to the ER and kept being turned away. Staff, Campbell says, told them all that could be done was try to manage the pain. We had no quality of life, none whatsoever, and it just seemed like everybody was just saying, oh, well, we can't do anything, just give you pain pills and gravel and just wait. Wait, and we're saying, wait, you know, for how long? You'll be dead soon, you'll be starved to death. That was the tipping point. The pair drove more than 1,000 kilometres to Cornerbrook. Russell was admitted to the Cornerbrook Western Memorial Hospital on September 1st. A week later, a call from the specialist came. The following day, Russell was medevaced to St. John's. The day after that, surgery for another stent. Even in a couple of days, you know, he could start eating and he wasn't having pain. Campbell says she spoke to the surgeon about their troubles getting in touch and was surprised by his response. According to Campbell, the surgeon said no one had phoned or contacted him before that week. This despite medical records showing multiple doctors reached out to his office. So there was something wrong somewhere. There's miscommunication, so, and I don't know. I mean, I don't know what happened. But whatever happened shouldn't have happened because... Scott was uh, starving to death all this time. Campbell wants the province to get to the bottom of it so no one else has to suffer the same way. You know, people make mistakes, yes, but it seems like there were too many mistakes made in this case or too many things overlooked. I see the doctors and nurses working very hard. Yeah, but I think it's a system that needs to change. NL Health Services says it's actively working to improve patient care, and wait time for specialists can vary. It says improving wait times is a priority, and new initiatives are being reviewed. The Department of Health and Community Services says it's requested NL Health Services investigate Russell's case. Back home in Northwest River, Russell is regaining his strength, as well as some of that lost weight. He's already up about 30 pounds. Heidi Adder, CBC News, Happy Valley, Goose Bay.